Soros financed group issues this sinister warning to President Trump over Iran deal by Aaron Moreno for truthfeednews.com. A Soros financed group who has highly influential who was highly influential in helping the Obama administration carve out the disastrous Iran deal. Uh, issued this ominous warning to President Trump the day before he removed the U.S. from JCPOA. From Breitbart, Tel Aviv, a George Soros-financed organization that was previously identified by the Obama White House as central in helping uh, to market the Iran nuclear deal to the news media, has warned Donald Trump that he will own the consequences of bolting the International uh, Nuclear Accord. The Plowshares Fund, with which uh, former Secretary of State John Kerry has been closely associated, sent out the following tweet on Monday warning Trump about consequences if and when he violates the International Agreement. So here's the tweet from Plowshares Fund. Trump says he will make the announcement regarding the Iran deal tomorrow. If and when he violates the international agreement, he will own the consequences. The fund, however, did not mention that Iran is already accused of violating the agreement by signing the deal under false pretenses. During an address last week, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu unveiled a cache of secret files he says were obtained from inside a hidden Iranian site and clear, uh, clearly demonstrates that Tehran maintained a secret uh, nuclear weapons program despite declarations to the contrary. Netanyahu explained that the structure of the U.S.-led international nuclear agreement was in part based on deceptive Iranian descriptions of its previous nuclear work. He said Iran's failure to disclose its secret program while misleading the world shows the nuclear deal is based on lies, uh, based on Iranian deception. The Israeli leader presented evidence that Iran continued research for a nuclear weapons program even after signing the 2015 nuclear deal. On Monday, Iran confirmed reports that Kerry met in New York with Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif uh, in, uh, to discuss ways of saving the Iran nuclear deal. Kerry last June keynoted a plowshares confab in uh, San Francisco where he staunchly defended the Iran deal at the event. Kerry also implied that then National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster was the best bet at keeping the nuclear agreement alive according to a plowshares fund description of the June 5, 2017 event. McMaster's was replaced with former uh, United Nations Ambassador John Bolton in March. From September 2006 to uh, February 2017, McMaster's is uh, listed as a member of the International Institute for Strategic Studies, where he served as consulting senior fellow. The IISS describes itself as a world leading authority on global security, political risk, and military conflict. Breitbart News reported Plowshares is a donor to IISS with IISS listed as a guarantee for Iran issues in uh, Plowshares Fund's budget report for 2016. Soros-funded plowshares, part of echo chamber to sell Obama's Iran deal. Plowshares Fund is financed by Soros' Open Society Institute. The involvement of plowshares in uh, selling the Iran agreement to the public was revealed in an extensive New York Times Magazine profile of Obama's former Deputy National Security Advisor Ben Rhodes titled 
the aspiring novelist who became Obama's foreign policy guru. The article contains interviews with Rhodes and scores of uh, top Obama administration officials. Robert Malley, then a senior director at the National Security Council, uh, expounded on the genesis and execution of the marketing plan to sell the Iran deal. Malley explained to the Times that experts were utilized to create an echo chamber that disseminated administration claims about Iran to hundreds of often clueless reporters in the news media. Times author David Samuels wrote, In the spring of last year, legions of arms control experts began popping up at think tanks and on social media and then became key sources for hundreds of often clueless reporters. We created an echo chamber, he admitted, when I asked him to explain the onslaught of freshly minted experts cheerleading for the deal. Uh, they were saying things that validated what we had given them to say. Rhodes told Samuels that the marketing strategy took advantage of the absence of rational discourse and utilized outside groups, including plowed shares. When I suggested that all this dark metafictional play seemed a bit removed from rational debate over America's future role in the world, Rhodes nodded. In the absence of rational discourse, we are going to discourse the explicative out of this, uh, he said. We had test drives to know who was going to be able to carry our message effectively and how to use outside groups like plowshares, the Iran project, and whomever else. So we knew the tactics that worked. Uh, he is proud of the way he sold the Iran deal. We drove them crazy, he said, of the deal's opponents. Plowshare says it has awarded hundreds of grants who, whose aggregate value exceeded $60 million. Plowshares in turn funds a who's who of the rad, uh, radical left, including the pro-Palestinian J Street, the radical anti-Trump indivisible project, the far-left Institute for Policy Studies, which calls for massive slashes in the U.S. defense budget, and the International Crisis Group, a small organization that boasts George Soros and his son, Alexander, on its board. The group says its mission is to support the smartest minds and most effective organizations to reduce nuclear stockpiles, prevent new nuclear states, and increase global security. Besides funding from Soros' Open Society Institute, Plowshares is also financed by the Buffett Foundation, the Carnegie Corporation of New York, the Ford Foundation, the Rockefeller Brothers Fund, and the Rockefeller Foundation. Another Plowshares donor is the Tides Foundation, which is one of the largest funders of the radical left. Tides is funded by Soros. Well, if all of these uh, people think that it was good, and that is an ominous warning, um, you know it's bad news to be in the Iran deal. Why, why are they so concerned over this? I mean, what, what, is, it, what is their stake in it? You know, you, it makes one wonder. Uh, and, and they're saying they're... they're you know, I mean, it is just unbelievable how deep this goes. It is sickening to this at this particular point. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.